Hello Nidorinars and Nidorinos, I'm King Nido, and after making the Elite Four, the glitches are not leaving the City of Lights, but will be returning with the loudest fans as the Lumios Yellows. Three, two, one, go! And returning to Lumios after almost making the Oak All-Stars last season, it is Iron Hands who will be looking to slap the lips off the face of any Pokemon that crosses its path with that massive base 140 attack. Backing up Iron Hands will be Electivire who looks to make their debut for the Yellows this season and it will be great with its own physical presence as well as being able to switch to being a special attacker when needed. And Electivire will not sleep until it puts a Thunderbolt through every Pokemon. Now returning home to Lumios after a champion crown in Terrastal season, it is Luxray who not only was a part of the Dark type champion side, it was a member of the Rowan All-Stars maximizing on its physical power and it will want to repeat that all this season with its electric comrades. Levitating him with no weaknesses to speak of, it is Electros. That is unless it is on the receiving end of another Mold Breaker offense, which has seemed to haunt Electros since Victory Road. It will be looking for redemption as another electric mixed attacker. And more Pokemon returning to Lumios, it is Ampharos who will be aiming to light the correct path for the Yellows this season as they try to make their way to and through Victory Road yet again as one of the key special attackers of this side as well. And I think Ampharos will enjoy the added support when Vikavolt comes in with its massive 145 special attack, wanting to help power the way for the electric types. Also being yet another electric type levitating Pokemon, it will not be worrying about any ground types. Causing that thunder to reverberate with each charging step, Zeb Striker will be making its debut in any format I have commentated, and as the speed for this surprisingly slow electric side, this Pokemon will need to bring the thunder. And after amazing end of season run, Bellybolt has been getting itself extra nice and ripe in anticipation for its second season with Lumos. And I really look forward to seeing if this Pokemon can improve on its performance to help the Yellows get to another Elite Four year. And rounding out the Yellows will be Golem as the Terrastal Draftee. This is not the Alolan variant, but the Cantonian Golem, embracing the electric typing by shedding all of its earthly elements. Perhaps it will have the inside tell on what the ground types are capable of. Even though the Yellows may have some of the loudest fans, they are an inherently quiet team, willing to give up on what little speed they do have so that they can boost their special attack in hopes of being a more balanced offensive side. And I look forward to seeing them put that power to the test when they light up Lumios against the Fairy types in our end of year special match in round 19. But with that, Nidorinas, Nidorinos, let us know in the comments below what you think. Do the Lumios Yellows have enough power to improve on last season? Or is the battery going to be drained on their season before they even see what happens? And if you enjoyed what you see here, please leave a like, share, subscribe, but more importantly, always remember, you are awesome, and I'll see you when you see me.